Hey y'all, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a kind of a get ready with me sick edition. I have been so sick the last couple weeks. I have the flu right now. I finally felt a little bit better so I wanted to get a video up for you guys and how perfect you know where I'm sick. I figured I'd do a super quick tutorial and I just I wanted to feel a little bit better. I wanted to get some makeup on and if you guys are sick, you know, it's super easy. It takes no time at all, but it looks so put together and so good. And I just love it. So, uh, one more quick side note. We have a lot of new subscribers here. And I want to say hello to everyone. All of my regulars and you guys that are new. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy. And let's go ahead and get into it. When I am sick, one of the main things for me is I don't want to fuss with it a lot. I just want it to work. So, it's kind of like I don't want to keep building. I, I don't, I just don't. I want it to be quick, done, go. So, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. And I'm taking this big, big gal here. And we're going to start putting this on the skin. I like this, especially for when I'm not feeling too hot. Like, especially with the flu. Like, oh, the flu. So I had strep last week, and this week I have had the flu. So I have not, not felt good, you guys. So, especially with the flu, where you are just really, really down and out, I just want to be able to get the makeup on if I even feel like putting it on and today is the first day that I have even felt like putting any makeup on so I just want it to be quick and easy and just get the dot the daub see you can tell I'm sick I just want it to get the job done and not fuss with it too much <clears throat> that is the key my skin just really freaks out sometimes so i really like to just even out my skin tone and oh kind of make everything look uniform because if your skin is like mine like especially with the rosacea my redness just freaks out it gets so much redder more prominent so i I don't know and sometimes I just want to put makeup on to feel better like I know that is silly but it honestly makes me feel better like when you look at yourself in the mirror and you look like complete shit it makes you feel even worse so sometimes like no joke I just like doing it I like putting the makeup on but where I feel like complete duty we're getting this on and we are going like it's it's just that simple have on a little bit of urban decay naked skin concealer and i'm going to throw a little bit of the elf 16 hour camo concealer on top um, i would just go in with elf because i do want a highlighted under eye especially when i'm sick i want to look not sick <laughs> so i really like the highlighted under eye but I don't want it to be too, too stark. So that is why I am mixing the two. If I had my correct shade in the e.l.f., I would absolutely just use that. So you do not have to use two different foundations, or sorry, two different concealers. I have my regular um, Real Technique sponge here, and that is what we are gonna blend out the under eye with. Just super quick, no rhyme or reason here, just getting it blended out. I swear it is absolutely insane what a little foundation and concealer can do for you. And I chose to use sponges today, just um, damp. I had been using dry sponges, but I wanted them to be damp just to get a little bit more of that moisture back into my skin where it is dehydrated. My skin's pretty, pretty dang parched right now. 
And to set the under eye, we are going in with a little bit of Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. This is just one of my favorite powders. It makes you look completely airbrushed. And I'm going in with a Sephora like Velour Puff. And I'm just pushing this onto the skin. We're not going to talk about all these flyaways. Um, nope. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals, what is this called? It's called like the Invisible Bronze or something, but this one's in the deep shade. And this is where we are bringing life back to our skin here. Just no fuss, super simple, takes no time at all. Just pick your favorite bronzer, the one that you know is not going to fail you. Throw in a little bit on the forehead and temples. Highlight, I'm going in with the e.l.f. highlighter. This is in Starlight Glow. We cannot skip out on highlight, guys. You, you know that. But I don't want one that's like super duper blinding. I just want a little bit of a glow on the cheekbones, which this one, it's popping. And that <laughs> wasn't the intent, but... It is what it is. I'm also going to throw a little bit on the Cupid's bow. I'm grabbing literally the slightest little bit of the Lorac Buildable Blush in Technicolor. And I'm just going to stick this right on the apples of the cheek. Just to give us a nice natural flush. We're going to go ahead and throw on a little bit of eyeshadow. We are not doing much. Alright, so I'm using the Pro Fusion Sienna's palette. I'm going to go in with these two shades here. This one first. I don't want to do too much on the eyes, but I want the eyes to have something. You can do any color you want. You can do browns, neutrals, greens, literally whatever you want here. But I'm taking the deeper of the two shades first. And I'm just going to start putting this in my actual crease. And then blending it up. Super simple. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and the other shade. And go right above that just to make sure everything is blended out nicely. I'm not going to do too much here on this outer corner. I just want to barely, barely blend that out because I don't want to drag it out too far. And now you could throw a shimmer on the eyelid if you want. Um, I'm really not sure I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some on our lower lash line. Not much, just a little bit. And that is all we're doing. If you want to throw a little bit of shimmer on, go ahead and do that. I might do that in a few minutes. I'm not sure, but if I do, it's literally, you, you guys know, super easy. So I'm going to go off camera, finish this eye, throw my brows on, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and I did throw some shimmer on my lids because while I was doing my makeup already, I wanted to try out this Revolution Cut Crease. I did one eye with this and one eye the regular way with concealer. So I just put this on one eye and then one shimmer. No big deal. Super easy. Um, on my lips, I have Physicians Formula Bear with me for again a sick day i really want something that's going to last but is comfortable and i absolutely love these i love them and then on my brows i just threw my nyx precision brow pencil and essence make me brow on and mascara and i threw a pair of lashes on super easy super simple like this literally takes me <clears throat> sorry guys this literally takes me no time to do and I think it looks really good, really put together, like I tried. <laughs> and I definitely feel better. That's the whole thing for me. With makeup on, it makes me feel better. Like, I, I look better, I feel better. I know that may be silly, but especially where I have so much redness and rosacea. And when I'm sick, it just makes it so much worse. So much worse. 
So this really just makes me feel better. So I hope this gives you guys inspiration. And if you guys are sick, I hope you get well soon. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.